But the uh, Olympic Games officials have defended two biological men competing in women's boxing events, and you won't believe their rationale. Now, Iman Khalif from Algeria and Lin Yu Ting from Taiwan were banned from international competition after recent medical tests confirmed they had XY chromosomes. In other words, they were biological men. But the IOC has allowed them to compete in Paris as women regardless. And listen to their reasoning. This is the IOC spokesman, Mark Adams, and he told journalists, I quote, everyone competing in the women's category is complying with the eligibility criteria. Just stop right there for a second. That gives you a clue that something is wrong because what he should say is everyone competing in the women's category is a woman. But no, 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 there's an eligibility criteria. Now, listen to the criteria. He says they are women in their passports and it's stated that is the case and they are female. So there's the IOC's argument. It says that they're women in their passports, therefore they are women. Now, we all know there's an obvious problem with that, and that is that legal documents are no longer credible for determining gender. We spoke just last night about the fact that in Queensland, for instance, you can adjust your birth certificate even without undergoing any medical Procedures. If you identify as a woman and live as a woman for the specified period of time, then the birth records are adjusted to say that you are a woman. And then if anyone sort of complains that maybe you're not, you simply point to the birth records, which you yourself adjusted just five minutes ago. So, Caleb and Liz, here's my issue with this. If I were to go to the IOC, crude example, but go with me for a second and I wanted to buy, you know, front row seats at a major event that were worth $500. And I handed Mark Adams a $50 note, and he said, well, I'm sorry, that's not enough, you need... And I got out my biro, and I just added another zero and said, no, no, it's $500. Would he agree <laughs> that was reasonable? Because it's a lot easier to adjust the agreed value of a piece of paper than it is to adjust biological immutable sex, is it not? Well, I just hope that uh, that does become law, that I can, with a pen, add another zero onto my $50 note and make it a $500 note, because I'd be all on board with that. Why not? Don't worry about that. I mean, th th this is a bizarre case, because uh, these two boxes, as far as we can tell, have never outwardly identified as men or lived as men. So it seems as though they've lived their whole lives as though they were women. Now, look, I haven't looked between their legs, but I'm assuming that they have, you know, lady bits down there. But when they went to compete at the World Championships last year, they were given DNA tests to confirm that they were who they said they were, and they came back with high levels of testosterone and XY chromosomes, which, of course, indicates some level of biological maleness about them. Now, they may never... Chromosomes have, tend to be fairly they, inclusive. They may never have known that about themselves, but that's what turned up in the DNA tests. And so, at that point, there's no argument to keep competing. I mean, surely we all have to understand that there are certain things we can and cannot do in life based based on the physical attributes that we are born with. I mean, you know, some of us come out with uh, half a foot or something, right? And, and that means that you can't be part of the military. Now, you might grow up thinking, well, I really wanted to be part of the military, but you're never going to be accepted into the military because they say, well, you've got a physical disability and that discounts you from being part of the military. That's just how life goes. It was quite funny. I heard... Um, Chris O'Keefe on 2GB today saying that he really wished he could be a Victoria's Secret model. But, of course, as a burly man, <laughs> he's never going to be able to do that. That's just the reality of life. So, so if, the, if the DNA test comes back and says, sorry, you're a bloke, you can't compete anymore. And I, I get that that might be devastating, that you, you can't compete. But that's just how it goes. We have to accept there are some things in life we can't do and competing as a boxer, particularly a boxer, when you've got high levels of testosterone and you're saying you're a woman is just something you can't do. I've got to say to Chris O'Keefe, just to encourage him, these days he could probably be in a bikini on the front page. Ah, that's a good point. And he'd be fine. Good they would point. totally go with that, Liz.
And this this is affecting everyone's scores, right? So two of these people are boxers, males versus women competing as women. Two of them are on the Zambian football team. And our Matildas uh, went, went to play with them. One of them scored two goals. Do you call them goals? If it's, yeah. if yes. It's so yeah. Yeah. yes. Okay, yes. goals. And, again, you have to ask yourself, were you not a biological male, would you have scored twice against our girls. Well, it's even worse than that because the other biological male scored a hat-trick, which is yes. three goals, Liz. Yes. And, uh, <laughs> I, w- I was getting to that. Sorry, sorry, I, sorry I please continue. I was building continue. up to that, but, but thanks for stealing you my sort of, thunder. You sort know, of said how little you knew about soccer, so I was trying to help you out. <laughs> <laughs> for a minute there, my brain was like, it is a goal, isn't it? <laughs> Clearly, I don't watch that much soccer. I'm sorry to all the Oh, no, the all the Europeans it. are writing <laughs> in now, Liz. And how it's not you? soccer, Liz, it's football. That's you exactly it's soccer. <laughs> It's soccer. Get out. Carry on. Um, Continue. And and so you have to go, how fair is this? Luckily, the Matildas Mm. did get across the line 6-5. But how fair is this when that many of your goals came from the biological men on the Zambian team? And when we're talking about boxing Mm. as well, we're talking about a very real threat to women's well-being in the ring. What woman, even if she is the best of the best, stands a chance against a male opponent? Boxing great Jeff Fennec has called this out. He's called the IOC utterly disgraceful. Direct quote from him is, what has this world come to? Listen, I'm all for women's boxing, but do people understand the damage that can be done if men fight women? Put Mike Tyson in the ring with a female heavyweight and she will end up not just concussed, but with brain damage. Can you believe that here we are in a society where male violence against women has never been more of a talking point? Mm. DV has never been more of a target, all the government funding that goes into combating this, etc. And we've just made it a spectator sport, basically. If we've got... When we talk about the Olympics, we are talking about the upper echelons of any sport. We are talking about the international stage. And these guys have folded. They've said, look, as long as it's what it says on your passport, then that's what you are. Meanwhile, we've got Queensland, whose laws have just come Mm. into effect. Over the last month, over 200 people have changed their biological sex on their birth certificates, etc. Is this where we're going now? If you can just get it on paper, the rest of the world is expected to say... Okay, then that's what you are, even when we know it's creating an impossibly unlevel playing field. Well, this is the sort of weird place that feminism's ended up in, right? Like, the first wave was, we don't need men. Then the second wave was, we are the same as men, we're equal to men. And then the third wave seems to have turned out as men come and be women with the rest of us, right? Like, it's utterly Not bizarre. The real it is, it's utterly bizarre. Not the real feminist. That, that, that it's, it's turned from a movement that was sort of anti-men in many ways that is now openly inviting men to come into their spaces, come into their sports, come into their bathrooms and their toilets and whatever and say, well, as long as you say you're a woman, then uh, then that's fine. And, and as I pointed out last night, uh, the, the research into boxing in particular has shown that someone who has gone through male puberty has punching power 163 times... Oh, sorry, 163 times. 163% slightly different, um, more powerful than that of someone who's gone through female puberty. Like we're, we're not just talking about, oh, you know, we're playing golf and perhaps a bloke can punt at another 20 yards down the road. We're talking about serious punching power there. So you put them, as Jeff Fennick points out, put a biological man in the ring with a biological woman. What do you think is going to happen? They know what's going to happen, and that is why it is just completely unforgivable. They know. They know what the outcome is going to be. They have sanctioned this. And I I don't know what's going to happen in the ring, but it's on their heads. The the problem, as we talked about last night, is they can't back away from this because as soon as you start saying there are certain sports in which transgendered women cannot compete then now you're making distinctions which their ideology does not allow them Mm. to make. Trans women are women. Trans women are women. Repeat it verbatim as if it makes sense. Once you've adopted that mentality, 
th there's no uh, shades of grey and there's no room for nuance. But I watched some of the footage of that fight uh, between uh, Iman Khalif and uh, one of the women that um, this person was fighting against, and it was pretty brutal. It was horrific. And Khalif was getting in some big hits and won it very easily. And I was wincing as I was watching Yeah, yeah, the yeah. I, was, I know. Look, but I have to say, though, um, my passport, uh, much along the lines of your $500 note, says I'm the Prime Minister of Australia, and that's that. I'm taking over the joint now.